These are my sister and her friends. Geckos that they caught outside, okay? So they're Monterey. They're Mediterranean house geckos. You find them like outside in like southeastern places down there, North America. And they look like this, but they can be light. I think they really mean. And like they're like crawling around. They come in like different shades. This one's actually pretty dark, like really dark with that off. And I see you see them like really light. They're like pink. And they're and they're really easy to take care of as long as you like feed them like every few days. Like we use they huggy um box. little box um white box because we like just put little water caps and there's geckos in there so like we have to be careful. We have like six or seven. We have like four or five and they're like really cool and we like. We have a baby one, and we were catching it, and it was so little, like, its tail came off, but it grows back. That's, like, the good thing. Okay. It grows back in, like, a month, but also, when you do get an aquarium, you need to put, like, a bunch of, like, twigs, like, in the side to make it so they can blend in and hide, like, from predators. Like, hibernation, too, like... In the winter time, it, or if it's cold in your house, they want somewhere to like hibernate. All right, this is our second lizard that we have caught. Mine. Um, earlier this afternoon, and this is my sister's, but she kind of is nervous because she still kind of has the jeebies about lizards and all. But as her, fr as my friend Taylor right here said that. They're easy to take care of as long as you do what you're supposed to do. And, and if they do lay like eggs, like you have to put them like somewhere You have to incubate warm. them. Yes. Yeah, make sure you incubate them. But we recommend if you, buy, if you catch these outside to release them the next day. But they do also sell the, these at PetSmart for $10. So, because I would suggest that you let the wild ones free the next day just, like, you know, to let them breed and repopulate but that's my decision and I'm gonna let my sister go on with the third one and this one is crawling around the computer um, okay so I'm gonna show you guys my brother's gonna hold it for me cause like I'm not a big fan of it I'm not a big fan of lizards cause one when I was like not a fan five of it. I'm, I'm a fan of them but I just don't like holding them cause this is my little baby she's He's so cute. I named him. Um, I named him Popper. He's like my favorite lizard. And his tail came off, but I don't really like holding them be because when I hold them, they scare me. Like when I was little, a baby one crawled up my arm and it went in my shirt. And I think I might hold this on. Like everybody in the world is gonna see me hold a lizard for the first time on YouTube. So. Okay. I'm scared we'll do I might a, drop it though. We'll do a separate video later, yeah. but right now I'm gonna let my my sister's friend Taylor sh show us the last one. Which one? This one? Okay. So um, also whenever if you do keep one of the, oh if you do keep one of these as a pet, you need to know that they need to be at least 80 degrees in the at night, like temperature wise. And they um, have to like stay pretty warm. And during the day, they have to be 95 degrees, yeah, up to 95 degrees. And it like that's like the normal temperature for them. That's why they came from like Asia and places like overseas on ships. Like and they made made way in your home stuff. All right. And thank that's you. Awesome. So show. Show the like bar some love and like our video no, and comment and subscribe, okay? Love Bye -bye. you guys!